Hey everyone, this is Cody with Patriot Rentals and today we're going to teach you how to put the track back on in MT-85. So if you've ever been in the situation where you've been working on your job and all of a sudden the track comes off, the first thing you want to do is stop operating the machine and look at the problem that we have. Now these are the tools that you're going to need for the MT-85, right? You need your socket an inch and a half, and you're going to need your other socket right here, the 9 16th, right? And then you need your half inch drive. I like to have a hammer, a cat's claw, and two pry bars. That just helps me out. You'll also need a wood block. I always like to wear gloves because I don't want to bust my knuckles up or my hands, or it's just better to wear gloves. Your first step, go ahead and turn the machine on, okay? You can use a stump, a block, if you have a lift, use a lift. We're gonna move this right underneath the corner, as you can see. That's gonna give me my wedge in the back. I'm gonna hop on the machine, and I'm gonna relieve all the pressure so that my track is hanging. See how it's hanging? I'm able to work with it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the machine. We wanna make sure that we're always safe. Don't have your feet under something that will crush you. Don't have your hands anywhere where it can get hurt. So, I'm gonna look right now. I came off the idler. I wanna get that on the idler. Now, I wanna get it back on. And the way you're gonna loosen this track is the following. Here we go. You need your socket, the 9 16th, and you need your half inch drive. There's a plate right here. So here's the plate. Here's your larger nut right here, which would be your inch and quarter, your smaller one. You take your 9 16th, put it on the drive, and you're gonna go ahead and take this off, okay? Okay, once again, we don't wanna lose our products, so keep your products near your tools and in the same area. Now we've exposed this nut, which would be your inch and a half one. That's your tensioner, right? That's what's controlling the tension. To tighten, you go down. To loosen, you're going up. So we've loosened our tensioner all the way up using our inch and a half. This is your idler. See how this is nice and loose? It goes in and out. And now we've got a lot of play with the track. Get that back on. There, I, I didn't have to use the pry bar after all because this is so loose right there. So now the track is on. We have it on the teeth, my idler's in, my front idler's in, and I've pulled this back. Now we're gonna go back to that inch and a half nut. We're gonna start tightening it. You're just gonna keep going until it grabs. It takes a little bit, guys. Okay, now remember, like I said, down is tightening, up is loosening. Sometimes that socket will fall off. Can you see the gap that's been created? So track tension is what I was talking about. And the proper track tension on an MT-85 right here is your thumb. This is too loose and you can see it's too loose. So I'm gonna continue to tighten. Okay. All right, so I take my thumb. Ooh, I'm still a little bit, probably a couple more cranks. So I'm gonna go a couple more. Yeah, about right there. So you can see, see my thumb? I still have that sway. We still have a little bit of play. If you tighten it too much, you run the risk of, if there's any type of tear or rip or anything, the track will break in half, or you'll stretch it too much and it will break. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the plate back on. So you go up down here, a inch dry. Oops. So now the bolt's tightened. Check your track. We're looking good. I didn't lose any slack down there. Let the coils heat up. So it's good to go. Okay, now we're gonna set the bucket down like that. Move this out of the way, the railroad tie. Just gonna set it here. We're gonna go ahead and run it. Make sure we're on. It looks good. Now we can go back to work. Stop filming me! 
You're being a creeper.